Now, I'm going to be honest. Uh, uh, I always say that certifications to me, certifications over uh, degrees. That's what I say, right? Uh, now, do I know everything? No. But I know that um, as far as my students, things I've seen, and even in my career, uh, certifications to me, um, they have a lot more pros than they have cons. So certifications um, are less expensive most times, um, take less time to actually get. Mm -hmm. And um, what a certification is continuing education. You have to usually get recertified with uh, certifications. Now, once you get a degree, you got a degree. No yeah. matter when you got it, bam, I got the degree. Now, if you want to get both, that's cool. Uh, but if, uh, if uh, money is a concern and time is a concern, I would say certifications over um, degrees. But if you get a degree, it's not that you're wrong or you're messing up what yeah. you're doing. But I would say certifications over degrees. Now, uh, just to you know, put something else on top of it, um, I have you know my master's. I got my MBA in um, information technology. But the reason I got that is because the damn military paid for it. If the military didn't pay for it, I wouldn't have a degree. So I would just have these certifications, and I and I would still say that I would pretty much be, I think, in the same slot and would have had the same opportunities that i had before because we already know you know we both know experience trumps both of those things yeah you know so uh it's cool you got a piece of paper but if you don't know what the hell you're doing it's not gonna matter anyway yeah exactly exactly and uh let me give a few more shot shout outs uh nc worker good to see you uh engineering cannabis how you doing man uh, and pearson uh center cyber thank you for the super chat uh and let me just read that out for you uh absolutely there will always be space for human creativity and innovation. So automation is not a threat. So yeah, she, awesome. yeah. Yep. Yep. She stated that perfectly. Yep. Yep. Um, <laughs> but, um, nah, man. And I, 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 I agree with you. It, it kind of depends on, uh, I kind of look at it this way. It kind of depends on, I guess, what area of IT as well you're trying to get into because, you know, programmers um don't really need degrees uh right. i mean once you understand the language you understand the language you know what i'm saying yep. and, and build from there and then also like a lot of times those degrees you know tied to the position levels i don't know if you've ever done contracting uh yeah, yeah, but yep. i know yeah i've done i've been doing military contracting for a while and um the government will write up the position and they just say okay we need somebody with a master's degree we need somebody with a bachelor's degree we need somebody to have yep. sec uh, security plus which i know that's a requirement at any level but um those positions they'll put that requirement in there uh and so that's where it'll help you out as far as like big salaries especially working you know dld contracts so that'll yep. help you out in the future and the, the, another thing I was going to say, just a caveat to that, is that, um, like you said, usually to get into super higher positions, especially management positions, they're going to want you to have a degree. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Now, um, since this is uh, an overall Genix, general uh, Linux uh, channel, you know, I try to incorporate a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But um, so I just wanted to ask... Uh, how important do you think Linux is uh, in a in general to learn uh, for people? Do you um, know, what are your thoughts? Now, like, like we were saying before, um, mm -hmm. you know, I'm jogging. You pretty much sprinting when it comes to uh, Linux, yeah. but it's, it's it's super important. Though I think it's super important just from the uh, functionality standpoint and how powerful it can be, right? And you can pretty much make it do uh, whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. um, like we were talking before, I think just the reason that people don't really maybe don't gravitate towards it or are scared of it is because, um, like we were saying before, it's just the um, they're just comfortable with yeah. Microsoft because the first time you was introduced to a damn operating system or computer in general, it probably had Microsoft on it. So once yeah. you see your screen with these damn green and red letters on it, it's kind of like, oh, what the hell is this? <laughs> but, uh, but like you were saying, uh, after you actually start using it, it's not as scary as you think it is. So, but to go all the way back to your point, I think it's important. I think it's super important, especially when you're talking about servers and maybe maybe not um, as far as uh, the user base, but mm -hmm. as far as the servers and stuff, it's super important. Yeah, 
Yeah, and that's I'm I'm telling you guys, uh, this is one thing I try to tell people that um, no matter what uh, position you you end up in, uh, you're gonna run into some Linux uh, For sure. equipment, you know, <laughs> so yep. or Linux yep. servers, whatever, because it's um, like what seventy five. Last time I looked at the stats, was like seventy percent of the web servers that are on yep. the, the internet okay. run on Linux. So, yeah. Yep. And, you know, so at some point you're going to have to understand or get into the command line, even with Windows, because uh, yep. they're incorporating like the Linux subsystem. You know, you can install it on Windows 10 and they're uh, patterning uh, a lot of their command line structure and all that stuff on on the way things are ran in Linux. So it's very important, like what he said. Yep. But um, I guess the next thing um let me ask you this uh and i know we kind of talked about it but uh programming languages uh do you know any programming languages and do you recommend any programming languages for people to jump into and learn so uh that's another thing where i would say you never gonna stop learning right if you get complacent in technology you're gonna get replaced so um even with that you know i'm pretty cool i'm okay with it um i'm not the guy probably that you want to build any application but uh i'm okay with java i'm okay with javascript uh but one thing that i think that everybody should learn is um and what i'm you know one of my goals for 2021 is is python mm -hmm. uh because python seems super powerful well, not seems it is it's super powerful and damn near everything is using it especially since um the direction we're going in seems to be automation and ai and a lot of the automation stuff is based on uh the python language um i want to say youtube runs on python google runs on python you know some of this super duper stuff runs on python so it's probably something that i need and everybody else need to have in their damn toolkit i just think in general um because i know that's one of the things is people like what's the best code language what language should should i go after i think you know the best code language you know for me i think in the future is going to be python but you know, if you kind of at a crossroads don't know what the hell to do, the best uh, coding language is the coding language that you're learning right now. You know, as long as you're learning something, because I mean, each of them have some kind of similarity and just, just getting in that framework of having analytical and because that's all it is, is a bunch of problem solving. As long as you have that, as long as you get in that mind frame, you can kind of learn. If you're literally learning another language. You know, mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not Japanese. It's like I'm trying to learn Japanese. So it's, I think if people kind of go after like you're nice, it's going to suck real bad. <laughs> at first like you're not gonna be good at it it's not gonna make sense it's gonna make your hair hurt but it's something that you kind of have to have because i think um you know eventually coding is gonna be as important as you know knowing how to read it's like yeah. it's like you're gonna need to have this in your toolkit no matter where wherever you at even like regular you know places hopefully they even start bringing it you know more into uh, the education system you know instead of you know learning damn algebra you know you they probably need to put some code in there somewhere mm -hmm. yeah that's 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 true man i i definitely agree man and uh it's gonna be tied to all the jobs in it at some point uh you're gonna have to understand some type of some form of coding especially with the whole automation piece that's gonna tie into that as well uh like um i took a what was that an ansible course not that long ago have you heard of ansible yeah um, yeah, yeah, yeah that's something that you know uh that they they push in to teach people even if you don't work with an ansible server you know what i'm saying they want you to have some understanding of how the playbooks work and all that stuff and that actually ties into my my next important my next question uh which is about automation i know we kind of covered it um well we we, we kind of already covered that so don't worry about it uh let me ask you this though uh cloud computing how do you how do you uh think cloud computing is important to learn because i know they got the CompTIA cloud plus you know what i'm saying is that a important area i think people should start looking at uh getting into it go ahead it's the it's the it's the, it's the present and it's the future uh cloud computing you know just makes things a lot more convenient you know as long as you got an internet connection you got access to gigabytes a terabyte of information you know if you want to download or upload um, and then, you know, just, you know, as an overview, I know your viewers are super smart. Everybody knows what's going on. But if anybody doesn't know, you know, just the cloud is just basically a server somewhere that you can save stuff to. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it could be uh, a gigabyte, 100 gigabytes, but you can save stuff to it. So like, uh, 
you know, iCloud is um, cloud computing, Google Drive is cloud computing, uh, Dropbox is uh, cloud computing, and a lot of organizations are moving towards cloud computing anyway. So you're gonna have to have that in your uh, toolbox. Um, you know, somebody may have their entire infrastructure in the cloud, you know, not really have that many physical uh, components at all. So I would say it's super important. Um, and like I said, uh, the, uh, one thing about technology is some of the stuff is like, I don't think it's important. I do think it's important, but some stuff is, is about to happen. We already know automation is happening. Cloud computing is happening. And with a lot of this stuff, if you don't, you know, stay on board and don't stay on top of your stuff, you'll get left behind. Yeah, I definitely agree, man. I, and I kind of call it uh, SEC, uh, S-E-C. <laughs> okay. Which stands for someone else's computer. That's yeah, all the cloud yeah. is. So, <laughs> That's all, yeah. yeah. But nah, I appreciate that information, man. Because, uh, yeah, I agree with you. Cloud computing is super important, man. It's like, um, for instance, I always try to tell people about this story when I worked at a, um, I worked for a small company uh, in Texas and I was managing their financial uh, systems and uh, well it was a financial uh, database and so uh they wanted to move this stuff to the cloud because on prem you know uh, you start getting into the cost of keeping the servers up and going and you gotta have a yep. you know a dev server and a test server yep. and a production server uh so you gotta maintain all those that hardware where well, in the cloud yep. is you know it's a whole lot simpler yeah.